What is up guys, Fizzy HD, bring you another tutorial uh, on this intro right here. Let's click this here. This intro right here. Uh, yeah. 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 It's not as hard as it looks, okay? So, let me just show you how to do it. This literally takes about uh, 10 minutes. <laughs> so, what you're going to do is rig your scene. 1280 by 720. Oh yeah, also the way I got this text, I just uh, modified some of the settings on uh, this program. 1280 by 720. That's why it's blue. Uh, all frames, and I'm going to save it. Quick time movie. Options. MP4. Because it's smaller, same quality. Alrighty, let's get to the making of the textures. Okay. Now we're going to make double click here, or click file new material, double click this, now you're going to change color, whatever color you want, I'm going to make it red just like in there, a little bit darker. reflection, press now, multiply, turn this down, turn this down, then I'm going to get a cube, I'm going to make it larger, Ooh. And yeah. There we go. Okay, day. Rotate. Now back it up, back it up, back it up. Okay. Drag it over. Yes. Okay. This is uh, it's kind of a wide hallway. Let me make it proportional. Okay, that'll work. This is not too far back. Perfect. Alright, so you want to click this? this right here or tap C on your keyboard and then click this right here click on this then tap delete on your keyboard or control X on your keyboard oh not control X just click on it and you have to click the delete key on your keyboard so this is gonna be your hallway this is your hallway right here let me learn this out looks horrible let me put the texture on it it still looks horrible, like, <laughs> anywho, so, uh, okay, now we got our hallway, we're gonna put our text at the back, so, MoGraph, MoText, put Derp, cause I am tired, I stayed up all night, whew, my back is throbbing, my knees aching, let me just put on a really random font, that'll work, that'll work. Increase the depth a little bit. I don't know, spacing down. Then I'm gonna scoot this back. You know what? That's the type of stuff I'm talking about. Pick it back here. Alrighty. I didn't fix the camera there, so it's not gonna like show up there permanently, but uh, there. That is our text object. That is what we are working with. This is our hallway. I'm gonna zoom in there. Uh, there's our derp right there for all you little ruffians out there <laughs> all right let's render this out oh look it's a whole bunch of derps okay let's uh, apply this to here now we're gonna go out making an outline I'm gonna edit copy edit paste or I just use a shortcut on my keyboard fill it cap make it three and Drag it back. Okay, not too far. Then, Control C, Control V, or copy paste. Fill the cap. Drag it back farther than the other one. So now we have three. This is the main. This is the small outline, and this is the large outline. Now we're gonna make new colors for each of those. So I'm gonna make this one silver. And then, reflection. Present. I'll just leave it like that. Then put that on this outline. See, that's the outline. Now, the bigger outline, I'm just going to make a new material. Make this one black. That's not racist. That's an editing term. Anywho. <laughs> okay. Uh, apply this. And this is our text. We have all our outlines and everything on our text. Okay, let me increase this, actually. If you want to make it bigger, just turn it up. That's what she said. 
Uh, just turn this up and uh, there. That is our outline. Now we're going to go about making this stuff fancy. Now what we're going to do is going to go in the render settings. We're going to go over to effect global illumination, not glow. Global illumination and keep the, all of this on low. And keep this on 80. Alrighty. And then we're going to click this and let's see what happens. Nothing because there is no light source. So there is no illumination. So what we're going to do is create the light source in this room. So how we're going to do that is we're going to go over here. We're going to make a cube. Just a simple old cube. Uh, just, this is going to be your light, actually. So let's just make these however you want them. I'm just going to tap the scroll bar, push it down, or you can click this. But it brings me multiple views, so I can see where it is. So I can see it's uh, up there against the wall. Let me drag it up a little. Perfect. Now what I want to do, I could use a cloner object, MoGraph effect, uh, cloner object around here, cloner. Or I could just copy and paste, which is what I'm going to do. Just copy and paste and move them with the blue arrow. It's faster that way. Ooh. There's our lights. And we're just going to keep doing this until we are satisfied. Alright, these are our lights. They don't do anything yet. Just so you know, these don't do anything at all. <laughs> they do nothing. They do nothing. It's still black. That's not racist. That's an editing term. Now, the way we're going to do this is we're going to do a secret technique. I'm going to click this, hold down shift, click the top one on the list, objects, group objects, and that creates a null object. That means we can move all these things together as one unit. That means we can also add colors at the same time. So we're going to make a new material, file, new material, or double click. Go click this. And then we're going to make this. Go to luminance. Check that. Make sure it's 200. And then pick the color of your light. I want it like a pinkish. You, it has to be a light color. I'm warning you right now. It has to be a light color or else it will not work properly. So it has to be a lighter color. Even if you can't see it, you're not supposed to be able to see it. Very light pink color. And then uh, right click, apply, and watch this. It's really dark, but you see that? Do you see this? This is what I'm talking about. This is the hallway. Now, a little trade secret that I did last time is uh, you can turn off the specular a little bit. Plastic, turn this down, turn it way down, turn, turn down this, turn up the height a lot, and then. Uh, Turn down this, like a little bit, and then run. And then you know what? We can uh, put these on the sides of the wall by edit, copy, oop, edit, copy, edit, paste. But I like using my shortcuts. Click the blue arrow, hold down shift, and it will rotate it 90 degrees. And we'll put this down over here. You guys get the picture. You get the picture, don't you? Just move it down, move it to where you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to just do this. I got my, I imported my textures in junk. So, uh, what are we going to do? We're going to just put this red on the text. And all the stuff will be provided, so don't worry. Now I'm going to copy some lights on the wall. We're just putting the lights around where we want them. They don't have to be where I put them. This is just how I did it last time. Um, you know what? Let me. You know what? It needs to be shinier. So let's make this luminance about uh, 270. And then we're going to increase the reflectiveness just a little incy bit. Turn this down a little more. Turn this down a little more. And then this is our text, and now we want to turn on our global illumination. So click this button. Okay, this. There you go. We have successfully created light sources. For you Merper Derpas out there who don't know how to create light sources, this is for you. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm very well aware of the lights on the top and the sides that are like unproportional. But uh, thank you guys for watching. It's been Fizzy HD signing out. Peace.